YouTube, friends, families, colleagues, fishing junkies, hobbyists. All right, here we go. I had to make a few changes with Slim 3. Um, after doing some field testing, things like that, my live well setup, yes, it was just not right for me. I just, I didn't like the the big monstrosity in the center. And also, it leaked. Uh, I had a couple leaks in the bottom of it, and I don't need the headaches, okay, um, going into the, the John boat season or the fishing season or whatever. So I made some changes, uh, very, very minor changes, as y'all can see, extremely minor changes. Yep, that's, that's, okay, so here's what I did. I got an RV uh, polyethylene tank. And what I did was I went ahead, you know, put my, my um, recirculating pump, uh, overflow, uh, live well in, my drain, you know, that's my recirculate, and it's perfect. I went ahead and got a, a smaller lid, you know, very small lid. It's going to fit right down in there like that. And I'm just going to do some reinforcements with it, but I know it's not stainless steel but I'm gonna reinforce the tops to make sure that the weight structure is there. And it's a lot lighter, man. It's like 60 pounds, 70 pounds lighter um, than my other, my other uh, live well that I had in here. So uh, yes, it's definitely better. I should have done it originally. I actually bought this tank with the intention of doing it. And then, but I made, if y'all follow along with my videos, um, I had bought, built the cabinet um, and the cabinet didn't work out, so I was like just trying to improvise with what I had. So, um, yeah, that's what I did. I went ahead and took that out and just uh, restructuring again. I know it's still early, the Jumbo is still a new build, but again, it's going to be better, and I think I'll be happier with this setup here. You know, it's just one thing about trial and tribulation, school of hard knocks, as I call it, is you know, get out there, field test it. If you don't like something, take the time and do it right you know um so again and if you guys have never used where is that at hold on a second one second please probably sitting on it no I, there it is right there all right i use this on my last john boat quite a bit um for the plumbing seals and things it's called goop marine dude this shit is the bomb no joke i ain't sponsored by them i still paid 29.99 for the tube and let me tell you something dude this shit does not play around it is stellar and i had to put the cap back on it for it oozed all over the place and i tell you when you guys are doing any kind of marine work i highly recommend the goop there you go marine goop marine this thing's about gone i've used it for my you know mounting my transducers on the back you know any kind of water source influx i've used it and it's been phenomenal uh, once you put it on, you'll never have any problems with it again. I mean, I ran the crap out of it my last John boat, John boat last year, and it was money. So anyhow, guys. All right, that's what's going on here. Just wanted to update everybody real quick. And yes, this thing is a hot mess and a half, but it won't be tomorrow because I'm going to do some fishing tomorrow or this weekend. So if anybody has any questions regarding the, uh, the live well tank that's going in. And yes, uh... I put foam on all mine. It just helps insulate it in the wintertime, in the, in the summertime or whatever. Uh, it just helps insulate it and keeps it cooler. You know, that's, that's the key factor. But again, if you guys have any questions, um, hit me up. Message me about my live well setup. I'd be glad to uh, help you out. And appreciate everybody tuning in. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for the, uh, following along with the build. All right, peace out. We'll see you all in the next time.